Okay, so back into our event graph. We are already have our desired tar target armland. I think this is a good, a good spot for it to be. So I'm just going to copy that value and create a variable. So come here, create a variable, and choose these as a float. Okay, and compile so that this this pops up. And I'm going to paste that value in there, and this is going to be my initial uh, arm length. So if I hold control and let go of the of the node, I'll get the get right away. Right, so something went wrong with my recording and I thought I was recording but I wasn't. So I've done quite a few things and I finished it, finished it up. So uh, maybe it's better because now I, we can go over it and it will be faster. So I, I won't leave out any details. So the first thing I do, I did was drag a pin out of this and promote this to a variable and I called it on screen so that I can use this variable further ahead in the code and if it's true it's on screen we're gonna do something if it's false we're gonna do something else let's focus first on what we're gonna do if the character uh, the boss character is not on screen so first thing I'm, I did was I created a timeline here and there's no flow tracks in here I just changed the length to one second and looped it okay I just close that actor on screen function we've already seen that so if the actor is not on screen we start a timeline that is looping and we do a check we check again if it's on screen you'll understand later on why so if it is on screen we're just gonna stop this this timeline okay it's not gonna stop if we don't stop it so if it's not on if it is on screen now at, the, at any point where it's updating we stop the timeline if it's not on screen then we, s we go to our camera boom and we set the target arm length and you can do this by set arm and that's the option set target arm length we set that arm length to whatever, whatever comes from this f interp node okay f interp so interpolation of a float so the current will be our current target arm length so the current get target arm length there we're setting it here we're getting it that's going to be the, ter the, the current and we're going to add 50 as the target so it's that plus 50 that's going to be the target the delta i'm just if you drag and say world you can get world delta in seconds without using um without using the tick event we can still get the roll depth in seconds uh, in third speed I did 10 and it seems to be working fine so th that's that's what's gonna happen as as long as this timeline is running we're gonna add 50 units to our arm length okay our camera boom arm length or spring arm arm length um, with this interp speed right so what that's gonna do is if I play where is my boss I'll keep interpreting until I see my boss on screen right so it's on screen it's true it stops it's on screen it's true and we come up here I had to create a function to check if the actor the boss actor was close or not to the border and I'll get to that function in a second but first that's what it does if the actor is close to the border outside of the screen like let's say this is the game screen and the actor is here that will say yes it's close to the border or if the actor is visible and is here close to the border this will say yes it's close to the border so if it is closer to the border we're gonna stop this timeline if it's not we're gonna play and this timeline is just like the other one it's a looping timeline so if it's not close to the border that means we're close to 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 the boss uh, and we want to update this and if we still on screen because it might not be on screen when this is updating because this will be independent of whatever comes after because it's looping 
if it's still on screen then we're gonna update our target arm length to the current same thing whatever the current value is right and the target which we will be reducing 50 units every time this runs we're gonna look at our initial arm length this is why we save that variable and we're gonna check which one is the maximum number because we don't want to go under the initial arm length and that will be our target all that the seconds again 10 seems to be a good one let's look at this this little function here and I have a drag rack box in case you don't know what this means so it's very similar to our on-screen um, actor on screen function with the difference that here we check the width of the of the character using the get actor bounds and using the box extend let me show you what get actor bounds really is I'm gonna copy this this debug box and I'm gonna come here to my event graph and we're, we're gonna look at it okay so I'll drag from is valid I dragged from is valid go inside that draw, draw debug box so that we can see what the heck this get actor bounds is and I'll put the origin in the center and the box extend in the extent for the draw debug box I have selected this color give it a duration of 2 and a thickness of 10 and I clicked on both of these guys and now I'm just gonna get the boss actor uh, bounds if I do that and I play those are his bounds right so I'm getting the size of his bounds here and I'm checking against how close to the screen he is okay so that's the offset that I gave to that function so if I go back to the function let's read out this function first so doing the same thing as the other one we're getting the ease location uh, it, that's this world position we're checking the screen position x and y, and x and y here you're getting his bounds, his box extent is off of the where the character is in the center to the box itself so that's why I'm multiplying by 2 so I get the full width of the box right I'm breaking that vector and I'm only interested in the X and the Y I'm not interested in the Z so I'm looking at the viewport and from the Y I'm subtracting his bounds okay his width the same thing from the X I'm subtracting his width and only then I'm asking if the screen position X is position in the screen if that is bigger than this then his position and his width right only then I'm asking that and the same for the the Y and I'm also asking or if it's smaller than his position with his width and I'm asking all those ors if any of those are true then the enemy is close to the border of the screen okay and that's how we do this this function and get away from the boss and that's what happens of course you can also do a max to stop the camera from going too high if the boss is too far away and you could do that here just like I did a max you could do a minimum and um, create a variable called max arm length to stop it from going too high